Okay, so <clears throat> here I am for the day. Uh, if you ever see me out in public and I've got a sleeveless shirt on, just know that I'm in that I really don't give a fuck kind of mood. So I just spent, um, I think, somewhere in the neighborhood of 18 hours walking around Lowe's. Um, I know there's an employee shortage, but the employees you get have to be worth a damn, too. Um, some were, some weren't. But anyway, I think I eventually found most of what I need. Not everything, not everything I wanted, but mm, it's a start. And uh, I can kind of make the deck a little uh, more inviting for the one who paid for some of it. Really did the numbers on who paid for what, but it got paid for. So I, I, I thought I was done with the contractor today because he came to install the last little bit of trim around the inside of the deck door, and I wasn't even going to bring up to him my dissatisfaction with how the door was done because I just want him gone. I just want him done and out of the house and finished and whatever. Um, and then I found out he's going to come back tomorrow. <laughs> because after he left, thinking that, I'm sure he thought he was done too, uh, I went out, out back to get uh, something out of my shed. And as I turned the corner to the door of the shed, I saw it. There's still... A lot of scrap wood and fiberglass insulation under my deck. Then I opened the shed and there's still a lot of scrap wood and some bungee cords and stuff like that in my shed. They're his. I mean, could I use the scrap wood probably in, in the future at some point? Maybe. Do I want to store the scrap wood for him and then more than likely haul it to the dump? Not really. Um, <laughs> so I let him know. And I asked him, did you mean to leave this here? And he said no. Now he's only been gone from my house five, ten minutes tops. He says, no, I'll come back tomorrow. So he'd rather, he'd rather not turn around from however far away he was, which wasn't far, and come get them. His stuff, then he'd rather come back tomorrow. And I'm only going to assume that he's got another job to be working on tomorrow. Now he's going to take away from the time that he could be doing those people's job to come get scrap from my house. The last email that included the invoice that he sent me said... X, X thousand dollars. So, today, I had, waiting for him when he got to the house, two checks totaling X thousand dollars. And I hear, hmm. Okay, dude, what the fuck does hmm mean? Let, let me look here a second. He's looking... And so as soon as he starts looking, I start looking too. I said, here, I've got the invoice right here on my phone. We'll look at it together. So I, I pull up the email. There's the invoice. X, whatever it was. And uh, he says, oh, no. No. You have, to, you have to view the invoice. Now, the email says in nice big letters. Sorry, I'm backing into my driveway here. Bigger than all the other letters on the email is this final amount due. So, turns out, when you view the invoice, the final amount due is not the big number that I just saw that said final amount due. It's X plus $75. So I had to write him another check. That is a total of six checks for a total of a 
little over 15,000, I guess. And, uh, and I'm annoyed. Now, he did what he said he was going to do on the front deck, on the front, uh, front porch. I just don't like it. Actually, he didn't say what he was going to do. He left things that anybody that took pride in their work wouldn't have left. Um, the garage door looks fine, looks great. No complaints there. I think I've already mentioned the crawl space door looks good. It's not painted, which I thought it was supposed to be, but... I guess not. I'm not going to fight about it. Because uh, it looks okay to me too. Wood grain. It's just wood. Um, but, and the deck looks fine. I have no complaints about the deck. It's plain. I knew it would be. And I'm okay with that. But the door from the house to the deck was the big issue. And it's still the big issue. They put in a new door. They put in a storm door, which I asked them to do. They redid the frame. They fixed things that were discovered along the way that needed fixed. But when you stand in the living room and look at the door, because until noon or one, the sun's beating right on that door, you can see sunlight coming through the gaps. Now, I already went after their working hours, which we've all discussed many times, or few and far between. Uh, with some gap filler and filled in a whole bunch of gaps. But the gap that remains is actually the door. <laughs> the door is not hung square. Just like the other one that I told them I needed to be fixed so it hung square and I, didn't, I couldn't see outside. <laughs> but I, I, I just wanted them gone. I didn't want to piss him off, not because I didn't care if he was pissed off or not, but because you hear these horror stories about contractors who feel wronged in some way because their stuff didn't meet the standards of the homeowner. I'm sorry, do you like your doors to properly fill the door way? Like, you can't see outside when the door's closed? Ugh. So fuck it, is what I say, and I'm just going to wait till I get some more money saved up and have somebody come fix it. Somebody else come do the proper job. And then I have to start saving money to have the vinyl siding replaced in the entire house. God will help me. God help me. I don't know what to expect that to cost or all the trouble they might uncover when doing that. But for now, since it's fucking 3.30 in the afternoon, and I haven't watered my yard yet that I'm supposed to probably by now have already watered three times because they just overseed it. You know, initially when I started working with, or having this company work on, our, on my front yard, I actually did debate having a sprinkler system put in. Um, one of my neighbors does, and he told me, he said, Chris, it's great. As long as it works fine, it's great. And his, the only reason he said that was because his had worked fine all along until the AT&T crews came through and dug things up in the neighborhood and they really did a number on his. But I wouldn't have had it out that close to the road. I wouldn't need it that close to the road. I don't have a big front yard. It's my backyard. It's huge. And I don't care about that grass back there, to be honest. It's like a field anyway. I actually would like to take a half of my backyard and just plant wildflowers and let it go. Which may happen eventually. But I didn't. And now I'm having to run sprinklers. I just had to go. That was part of what I had to get at Lowe's was sprinklers and some more hose to water my front yard. Hope the green grass is worth it, Walt. Chris, why can't our front yard be green? Really? Because you haven't ever done shit to it, you old man. Damn. All right, enough bitching and griping, I guess. Let me go make him happy. Got the shit he want. Well, he didn't ask for it. Well, he kind of did. He wanted a rocking chair for the deck. I had two options. One was $130 and one was $57. Which one do you think I got it? 
but I wasn't going to put a new, uh, put a rocking chair on a new deck. So I needed a floor mat, a, a carpet, an, an indoor, outdoor, safe for the environment carpet. And I wanted to, you know, spruce up the deck a little bit. So I got a couple of hangers for some flowers. And I got a couple of flowers. This person, this, what you see here, walking around the flower section of the store, I had a lot of old people, mostly 99 out of 100 old ladies looking my way. I got two. I didn't get what I wanted because I didn't see it anywhere. By God, asking somebody for help is not an easy thing, especially in the garden section. I did talk to one of their employees, but we were just having a good laugh over her trying to water everything. I also would like to plant apple trees in my backyard, but I have a feeling that's going to be further on down the line. Gala apple trees. I think that was like uh, about 40 bucks a tree. Now, I don't know how many you need to have the proper cross-pollination, but I'm guessing at least three. <laughs> and probably the only reason I didn't do it is because I didn't feel like digging three big-ass holes. But I do like gala apples. So maybe eventually I'll do that. But I'm in no hurry to do it right now. I've got other projects to do. And I have an exercise jet today, so uh, I guess I best get this thing. I may or may not talk to you again later. You might find, like yesterday, that the video just ends right here. Alright, so I am done with my exercise for the day. And in terms of length of time I did cardio, I did my minimum. What I did for my cardio was a 30-minute row which I haven't done in a really long time. I don't know what my previous personal best was. I just know that it's been a really long time since I did as many meters as I just did in 30 minutes. Um, when I go to put it in the log book, um, I'll, I'll double check and see um, how, it, how it compares to my previous 30 minute best. Um, but I think it was pretty good. I, I know it wasn't my all time best, but um, by far uh, the best in probably a year and a half or more. So, uh, pleased with that. Kind of just wanted to do do that, um, to test it. Uh, I, I do, on occasion, look at my previous bests for the various ranked, what they call ranked pieces, um, uh, in, in the logbook. So, ranked pieces can be um, one, 100 meters, one minute, 500 meters, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, 6,000, 30 minutes, um, 10,000, an hour, and then your, probably your half marathon, full marathon. 50,000 and 100,000. I really just would like to watch, maybe not the entire time, maybe just like the last five minutes of somebody rowing 100,000 meters. Um, I will give a detailed account of, sorry, I'm really sweating. Um, I'll give a detailed account sometime of my experience doing a marathon on the rower. Um, Let's just say that I will have to have a momentary lapse of reason to do that again, because it was brutal. Half marathons are, are much more doable, obviously, because it's half the distance. Um, but at this point in time, the way um, my hands are, are acting, or the nerves to my hands are acting, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do a half marathon. Um, I really kind of wanted to, but right now a 10K is excruciating and it's all my hands that are keeping me back um, 
so that's a little frustrating uh, and maybe maybe there's some way I can work past it I don't know we'll figure that out we'll cross that bridge as they say uh, I haven't weighed in a few days I, I probably I would like to try to remember to weigh tomorrow the only reason I didn't again today well so Monday was a doctor's appointment yesterday was a doctor's appointment today was the contractor coming in whatever time it was it came and I usually on days other than Monday I don't like to weigh until I've used the bathroom and uh, so this morning I actually did not not only did I not use the bathroom early I was nibbling at Walt's well, at the fruit as I was cutting some for Walt for breakfast. Um, and then I just went ahead and eat some pecans and a piece of cheese for my breakfast. So I don't like to weigh um, after I've eaten, and I like to weigh before I've gone to, after I've gone to the bathroom, before I've eaten. Just for consistency. That's all. That's all it really is. It's not like I'm trying to shed one last little bit of weight. I just want to keep that consistent. If you are using a, an at-home body fat monitor, that's another thing. You want to do it as consistently as possible. Get up, go to the bathroom, weigh yourself, take your, your body fat, which I haven't done my body fat in a couple of months. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, and for consistency's sake, I leave my uh, scale in the garage so I do it on a, the flattest section of my garage floor because con the harder the surface, the more accurate the scale. Um, yeah, bet you didn't know that, did you? You got, you got your scale on carpet or on a soft bathroom floor. Might not be as accurate as you think. So anyway, and so there's no windows or the garage door is open. I come out and I do it in my birthday suit because that's as consistent as I can be. Um, so anyway, I don't know how I got sidetracked on all of that. Anyway, tomorrow morning, do my best to remember to weigh when I get up. It's not been great lately. I, I'm probably up. I'm in the I'm in the mid, low to mid, 290s. Um, it is what it is. Just I'm a stress eater, and I've had some stress lately. And as bad as it is to let food be part of my stress management. It is what it is. Um, chewing, chewing up uh, my Delta 8s and Delta 9s and my HHCs, uh, it's not the only way to deal with stress. Sometimes you can just have some pretzels. So, anyway, all right, I'm done. I got to go eat. I'm hungry. And uh, that's all for today. I'll see you tomorrow. And uh, got some stuff going on tomorrow. We'll talk about it then. See ya.